What a thoughtful woman. What a thoughtful woman. Classy woman. A woman of substance. A woman who understands culture, tradition. A woman who respects. I do not really know the exact thing that happened to you, Letuche. Although we do not live with them. Um, but I just do not really understand why. Well, 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 that is gone. That is gone. As you all know from the previous video, me touched down right there at Enugu Airport. And um, she's there for business and, of course, to meet with old friends. And she decided to do something. She went visiting Pa Pit Edoche. Yeah, she went visiting the man to say hello. It will not make sense if she goes to Enugu and she goes on with whatever it is that she's doing without um, any regard to Pet Edoche. No, not at all. Regardless of the stupid behavior of Yule Edoche, regardless of whatever he has chosen for himself, let's just even leave him. He, he can choose whatever he wants. Regardless of that, she decided to pay a visit. After all, Pet Edoche and our late father Regardless of uh, whatever it is that might have caused some kind of clash or friction um, between the two families, she felt like, no, come on, my father is no more. And my father and Pete Duchi used to be friends. So why? I do not have anything against him. I just need to go pay a courtesy visit, a visit that shows my respect and also um, I have children for this same family. So let me go say hi to Grandpa Pete Edochi. Now, is that not lovely? Is that not nice? Is that not something good? And Pete Edochi was so glad that she did this. After all, um, during the interview, the discussion that Pete Edochi had with a known blogger, well, he said some very good things about me such as backbone, success, computer whiz, and good things. In fact, he even talked about how he was treated when they went visiting, when they went to May's family. Apart from being friends with the father of May, the welcome was so, it was so, 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 so glorious. It was so great. They overwhelmed them with so much. And the reason why he said so is because his own son had been a terrible person. Yes, Yule Duchi had been a terrible person. He wanted to disgrace the family. It was kind of like, uh, you know how some guys do when they get a woman pregnant. They begin to act crazy at times. So the father felt good like, wow, these people respected me. They honored me and they accepted me. In fact, he said what they did that day, he, he was overwhelmed. He couldn't believe that this was going to happen that way. And everything turned out to be very good for, um, for both of the family. And of course, Yule Duchi went on like life is good they kept on doing and behind the scene you all know what happened so may decided to say hi to at least meet with um peter Duce and of course his wife the mother of yule Duce. and of course you all know why she went to enugu she's actually going to be presenting her own brand and also the other brands that she represents such as cute Pisiano and the rest of that she's going to put all of those things out there and, you know, what else? How else is it? I don't know. How else should someone show to the world that they have deep understanding of life and how things should work and that they are entrepreneurs? How else do you show that she's a deep, real business person? You know, when we were saying that majority of the funds used to build that house that they live in, came from me. People felt that we were just making up that story so as to, you know, ridicule Yule Duchi. Of course, uh, we, we were not called to look at bank accounts to see how much was not paid, who, who put in physical efforts and all of that. that. That's not what we are saying. What I'm just trying to say here, to point out here, is that regardless of anything anyone wants to say, it is clear that me is productive. That is the most important I want to say. I, I don't really, you know, more, I don't really care about who put in more. It's not, there is no law that a man has to put more into building a house or into mortgage and all of that. There is no law. Of course, everyone has to be equal partners if it is possible. Um, but what I'm trying to say is that she's, a, she's someone that is viable. She's not redundant. She's not a desert. She's someone that can put one and one together and make it three. That's what I'm saying. She cannot 
sit down and be looking and be acting like, you know, I'm just here. No, not at all. She has that thing inside of her. If it were other women, all they would do is just to be brand ambassador, to be like a new thing. And they will use this opportunity of fame, popularity, to become, you know, some kind of, uh, uh, you know, Olo show, Ashao kind of thing. But she's not that kind of woman. She quickly looked at it. I'm not just going to be a brand ambassador. I will include my own brand into it. Every other thing will add up together. It's as simple as that. Now, Elugu is also a place for me to remember. I mean, this this is where both of them started. They used to live there. She used to have a shop. She does her thing there in Enugu here and there, running her thing. So Enugu is not like a strange place, not like a place that she has never known or anything like anything of such. So Enugu is 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 some 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 kind of um is a place that she will always is a go back to a place that she goes to like oh this is where i started this is where i did this this is where i did that and all of that before um, they got more you know income increased and they felt like you know what we we have um, this opportunity to be part of those who live in lagos let us move down to lagos let us live on the island at least if we decide to sell that property it, it would have accrued you know it would have um added up extras on it it would have um the value of that property will not be the same as when we built it so they decided to increase and improve their status and of course environment and here we are today yule duche is not there she is the one there so according to a reliable source um may visited peter duche of course she knows that uh, they are not 100% in support of what happened between both of them, the way he went about it. And, you know, there is nothing they can do. They cannot throw out their, child, their, their own child. You know, it's not possible. You cannot throw the baby and the bathwater away. It's just not possible. You just still have to kind of package. Your child remains your child, regardless of how terrible, horrible they are, or he or she is. You know... All the while that this issue had been ongoing, the divorce, the drama on social media and all of that, she has not gone visiting Peter Doce. Neither has she gone to see the mother of, uh, you know, Yola Doce. No, everyone has kept to themselves like, let's 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 just keep, apart from Auntie Rita Doce that has been, you know, up and doing here and there. You know what I mean? Well, as it is, as it is right now, you know, she just needed to just say, hello. You know, hi, like, I just, I'm here. Of course, Peter Duce knows. So it will appear like they, now it's now a fight between family, you know, that kind of thing. Like, oh, she's not talking to us. All of those things are not necessary. So she went there to say hello. Now, the question is, is uh, Judy Austin welcome? No, Judy Austin cannot, you know, she cannot just walk in. She can't just go into that house like that. She can't. She's not welcome. That's the difference. You see? Well, it's quite unfortunate. It's quite unfortunate. Even comedians, they joked about Yule Duce and they dragged Peter Duce into his saying, how did a lion end up giving birth to a chicken, to a goat? But, you know, it's one of those things. Of course, if you check the inner intestine of a lion, you will find bones and flesh of goats of different. So we cannot just say you will not have such people in your family. Like I say, and I've been saying, and I'm still going to continue saying, like I said, say, and going to continue saying, it is not about the polygamy. Let us be sincere. Some of us are product of polygamy or somehow our great grandparent ancestors are polygamies here and there. You know, it's not something that is strange, not something that is um, specific to a particular continent. It's been something that has been there. That's the truth. It's been there. It's been there. It's been there. Why? Biologically, if you look at a man, a man normally is supposed to be with a woman. But then, I said normally, but in certain circumstances, if you look, a man can get a woman pregnant every minute, every second, every day. But a woman cannot get pregnant every day. There is a specific, that is why some do not like that, you know, scripture or the Bible saying that a woman is made for a man. But I am sure also that a man is not made for a goat, cow, chicken, right? Of another man, isn't it? So a man is also made for a woman. But 
in some circumstances, a man can be made for women, but he has to live with the consequences of it. Solomon and the other people that Mr. Yule Duchi was referring to, don't look at the starting, look at the finishing. It's very important also. And there are times that God allows and wait for you to see and learn from it. So, um, Barrister Josephine, the mom of, Pe of Jule Doce and veteran actor Peter Doce, they welcomed her. And um, from what we gathered, it was, it was wholesome. I mean, they, they really had a um, nice time and moments together. She was, you know, and moreover, don't forget that uh, she is now more of a woman of grace, you see. Um, back then, they only referred or saw her or regarded her as the wife of our son. Now, she's an entrepreneur on a higher level, higher scale. So, she's not going to be looked like. The, the, the respect is even more there. Or what do you guys think? Is this not lovely? Is this not marvelous? Is this not good? Is this not thoughtful of her? Well, God bless her. God bless her a lot. As for... Judy Austin, Juju Austin, a local bag of rice. It's okay. Continue with uh, Mr. Yo, yo, yo. You guys can enjoy yourselves. It's okay. Um, it's all right. As long as you live, me out of it. <laughs>